Hey guys, this is early 1981 and welcome back to the, the Golf Club 2. We are going to continue with round 2 of the 2017 Open at Royal Birkdale. Um, and wow, what a first day um, on the real event. We have uh, Spieth, Kopka, Kutcher, all five under. And uh, Casey, Swartzel, they're both far under. But a huge shout out has to go to uh, Ian Pooler who uh, shot three under in horrific conditions. The rest of the guys kind of were out later on. They missed the majority of the bad weather. But Ian Pooler was at the top of his game there. Um, he really, really scrambled. The guys who are all at the top patted really well. Um, scrambled really well. Like I said in the previous video, whoever is going to do well was going to have to do that. But, uh, great to see. Unfortunately, no one really got anywhere near the predictions. Not that the, the tournament's over or anything. Um, so, really good, great golf, uh, great golf at the Open today. Um, let's concentrate on my second round here. Going to hit the six iron into the green. I did get a good drive despite talking. And uh, I just want to say thank you to everyone who watched the, the previous video, round one, and participated in the, the predictions competition. Hopefully someone can get rare or thereabouts. I honestly feel I'm not going to win this. I think somebody's at 12 under here on the leaderboard. That's a great strike. Um, I think I was actually a bit tough on myself yesterday, guys, at finishing two over. Oh, be nice. Be nice. Um... I've actually watched a few other YouTubers who've kind of done similar things to me and they're all shooting 5-6 over on this course. This is makeable, this. 15 feet. Be great to start off with a birdie. Stay up, stay up, stay up. Oh my god! And that <laughs> it just continues from the first round, we're not getting the brakes, nothing's dropping. We get the par. And yeah, they're really, really struggling in this course. Um, a few of them have actually rage quit due to the greens. Now, there's no way the greens today at the Open played nothing like what the course creators um, simulated in this course. They're nowhere near as tough. The brakes aren't as severe. And I'm swinging well today, guys. Um, I have spent about two minutes on the, the driving range. I'm not swinging any different than what I was last night, guys. I don't know if it's a game. Um, I don't know how I kept pushing things left. I, I've not changed my swing one bit. Um, it's quite frustrating. I do feel the game kind of throws you a curveball at times. 145 yards. Wind. Is the wind going to take me round? It is. This could be really nice. This could be really nice. Bite! Bite! That's a great shot. I'm delighted with that. So my tip, Sergio Garcia. He was playing quite well, but his putting was terrible. His putting was dreadful. Um, the only good putt I've seen him drain was on the final hole, the 18th, for his birdie. He was four over. Turn. Yes! And that's just one under. Back to one over for the event. And as you can see, Jason Day's up there, 11 under. I mean, that is insane. Um, I'm afraid, guys, I can't see me winning this. Uh, the AI's being playing really unrealistic. It's so tough to get birdies in this course. And um, with the way the greens are, and especially the wind's playing as well. And I'm swinging well. But I can't thank everyone enough for participating in round one, interacting with my channel. Um, I've just been offered a partnership f with uh, TGN Gaming Network. Uh, they got in touch with me. I was just catching up on my emails. So it's something I'm going to consider doing with that. And I do feel it will help my channel grow. And that's all down to you guys. I can't thank you all enough. But I really hope you're enjoying this, this event, guys. And if it's something you'd like to see more more off on my channel please say so this ball's going to break hard right 
shoot the wind on the slope. 150 yards out. It's another great swing. This could be a nice... Oh! Game's playing a bit glitchy, especially the camera there. That really speeded up for some reason. Nah. Nah. And you're just seeing the severe breaks in these greens, guys. And that, that's when about four or five feet past, maybe six. The greens are really challenging, but it's one thing I really looked at today at the, the Open on Sky Sports. The greens were were tricky, but they were nowhere near as severe as what this, this course is playing here. Um, so as you can see, we're way out of it. There's no way we're, we're going to compete at the top of the leaderboard, guys. If I could get top 50, top 60, I'd be delighted. Um, but yeah, I have watched a few guys and have raged quit. I was watching a guy live stream. I think his handicap was plus three. Um, it's slightly better than mine currently. And uh, he broadcasted it as... Uh, and we're swinging really, really well. There's no left at all. That looks like... Could be nice. Um... He just rage quit. He he's seen about nine holes. He was about ten over. He just he, I I I can't blame him. You know this course is a sickener. It's really tough. There's a lot of the people who I know have really shot badly over par. But I'm gonna persevere, guys. It's entertainment value, hopefully for you. Despite me, we know now I'm not gonna win this. Hopefully I can rally here and get under par but it is going to be tough left that one slightly short slight break to the left so that's enough about today's events at the open um let's focus on on my my event here started off hole five i'm playing really well and i've sussed out that you can just use the rough here guys to hold the fairway if you swing it well. It's a good swing. It will bounce on the rough and then kick out. Oh wow, it didn't even bounce out in the rough at all. Wow. That is a monster drive. So I've left myself a short pitch here. 32 yards. I'm actually going to flop this. Just took a, a bit of loft off, guys, so it makes yardage. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, Lee. And I've had a perfect, very slow. That is the annoying thing with the flop shots, guys. And this is this is more than likely going to be a drop shot. I'm going to persevere with a shot. Just loft it up a bit. That's better. Be nice. Spin, 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 spin. Uh, and it's going to be a tough putt. It's going to be a tough putt for par. Well, on hindsight, it's not really. This would be a great par save. It's looking good. It's looking... Yes, I'm delighted with that, guys. And that's kind of what Ian Poulter... Uh, Kutcher, Spieth, all had to do today, guys. They were all scrambling, making good par saves. That is what you need to do. I'm disappointed with that first flop shot, though. But yet, yeah, there's no left in this at all, guys. And I swear to you, I'm not swinging any different. Um, I'm not sure if it's the game mechanics or... It certainly makes for... An interesting game, put it that way. Very frustrating at times. So this is a long par 4. And yeah, I said yesterday I thought this was playing as a par 5 in the tournament. It wasn't. It is a par 4. That could be really nice. This could be really nice. Go on. Bounce and travel. 
stop any time now. That is a great shot and we've got another birdie opportunity. I am disappointed in more of the AI have been at the top of the leaderboard. Um, the, the ones I changed their names, sorry. Uh, yes, and we're two under for the round. Back to level par for the event, what a start. Absolute delighted with us. So we're now 11 shots behind Jason Day at the top of the leaderboard. But I just want to say, a few guys have given me information on saying that because I've leveled my society up, it adds more AI players. Um, so that's maybe one of the reasons that some of the, the real players are not up there. But hopefully... Hopefully come Friday, eh, Friday, hopefully come Sunday, um, there's real names at the top of the leaderboard. Oh, we just didn't bite like I'd hoped. We are firing low irons into the green there, and it's a tricky putt, this. I mean, look at this. Jeez, breaking both ways. See, it's more, it's breaking more to the left. This is a tough read. One foot down. It couldn't, could it? It couldn't, could it? Oh! And once again, guys, as the previous round, the birdies are just missing by centimetres. Just missing. So it's another part. We're going really well. So far, it's a bogey free round. And we're really getting through this quite quick. On hole eight. Straight down the middle again. Once again, this is a long par four. Probably going to be the hybrid. And about oh, seven iron, wow. Deceived me that. Thought it was a lot longer from the hole than that. Do you feel the seven iron is the club? Nothing major on the greens. I'm just being a lot more precise now, guys. Really want to try and get this close. Putting a bit of extra loft in a seven iron. The ball is slightly going to kick to the left. And this could be really nice. This could be really nice. Come on, bite, 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 bite. Yes. And the way the greens are, guys, you need to get in within the 10 feet range. But, geez, oh, look at this again. These are tough reads. These are really tough reads. Turn. Yes. Wow. Three under for the day, one under for the event. So we've still got a 10 shot. Deficit at the top of the leaderboard though, and hopefully the way I'm playing guys, I will qualify for the Saturday for the cut. I was fearing that, and like I said, I was going to do it realistic. If I was 10 shots off the lead and over par, um, that's the norm, the cut off. I would have not continued with, that should kick out, should kick out. Yeah, it's going to kick out. Just... Um, I wouldn't have continued with rounds three and four because obviously we wouldn't have qualified, we wouldn't have made the cut. But um, tomorrow I do feel the course is going to play a lot tougher. A lot of the flags, a lot of the pins were in the centre of the greens. Greens today, the course will be certainly more challenging tomorrow. It was a front nine. Once again, we're swinging well. This could be really nice. This could be nice. Roll up, roll up, roll up, roll up. Well, we're fired into these pins, guys. Um, the f the, it was the front nines, guys, were really shooting low scores. The, the back nine was quite, you could obviously tell it was tougher. Um, guys were just doing well to, to shoot even par, and that's another birdie. So we're going along nice, guys. We are now two under for the event, four. 
I'm absolutely delighted with how this round is going so far, guys. I did feel I was a bit critical with myself yesterday. I did when I watched the video back. It's like I didn't play that bad, despite some shots going left. It is a challenging course. The the wind is it makes it so much difficult as well. But it's the greens. Didn't like how that came back. The greens are so hard to read. And look at that. You're not going to see a, a straighter shot on that at all. Um, I, I just don't get it. I've not done nothing to my swing. I'm still swinging same exact same way as I did yesterday. It, there's some shots are just not going left. So I don't know if it's a, to do with the game. I've certainly not changed nothing with my swing. Have a look at the green here, guys. Take a bit off of this nine iron. Twelve mile per hour wind in. Hopefully, this is going to be enough club. Mm, I've sent that slightly left, just as I said. So it's going way left. So we're probably going to have about a twenty-five foot putt. Twenty-three feet putt. This is for birdie. This once again, it's another tough, tough putt. I've not hit that. I just wanted that to get down over the slope, and I've not hit it. Oh my word! It looks like our first drop shot's coming, guys, because I've left myself a really challenging putt again. Seventeen foot down, one foot. This is for the part. Turn, turn, turn. Didn't even turn. Can't understand that. That looked as if it was breaking a lot more. So th this is for a bogey. Fuck. This ain't a gimme. Oh, now... You see, I didn't put that as far left as I was going to, because I was like, the previous read, it didn't turn at all. So this could, this could, if I don't, this is still not easy. This is for a double bogey. Ah, oh, no, and that's us back to, to two under for the round, guys, and level par for the, for the event. Absolute gutted with that. And, uh, I do feel the putts, the, the greens are just crazy on this, to be honest. Very difficult to read. It's such a challenge. And that is just an amazing swing. Swinging really, really well. And I really want to get these drop shots back as quick as possible. And about 150 yards to the pin here. I do feel, though, that these pin placements are slightly easier than what pin ones were. But there's a lot of factors. I mean, look at the the slope I'm playing off here. I mean, every shot, basically, on this fairway, unless you're lucky, you're playing off a fucking down slope, an up slope, a side slope. It's so, so challenging. There's so many factors. And I can see how a lot of people who have tried to do what I'm doing here on Facebook have just quit. Or are shooting horrendous scores, horror scores, and I do feel for them. Surely that's going to come back round with the wind. And we've played this really, really well. Come on, let's see if we can get a birdie back here. Oh, wow, it's just going to trickle more at the right. Must have found a slope. I mean, I'm not the greatest player at this game, guys. I don't profess to be. I'm a decent player. I'll compete. Um, but this course is very frustrating. But I hope you guys are really enjoying this content. I'm really enjoying playing it and getting it out there for you. And hopefully with this partnership. Um, oh my god. Is this course going to give us anything at all? I would say that's about the fifth or sixth lip out we've had. From rounds one and twos now for birdies. It's just on another day they drop. We are just not getting any kind of luck at all, and we're still 11 shots behind. Jason Day sitting up there. Alexander Bjork, 9-under. 
Rory McIlroy's going well despite I think he finished four over today. Uh, Rory struggled today. As did a lot of guys. Hopefully we can get this close. So the wind's really fluctuating, guys. It's going like from 11, 12 mile per hour down to 3, 4. Be the club. Be the club. Be the club. This could be really nice. This could be an ace. This could... Oh, my God. We're about a foot. Another foot to the left there, and that could have been an ace. But once again, look at this. Breaks. Oh my god, it's another lip out. <laughs> I'm just... It's frustrating, I'm just getting no luck, guys. This is insane. On another day, these drops. On another day, these balls drop in the hole. It's just crazy. But the greens are so hard to read. I mean, if you're constantly patting well on these greens, and you claim... It's skill. You're a liar. It's a luck. It's a luck. A lot of these reads are down to, to pure luck, whether you're getting them or not. But it is kind of frustrating to hell like me. But we're just going to keep digging in, guys. Never say die attitude. And there's something going on with the camera, guys. That, that ball looked as if it was still ro rolling and it just stopped instantly. The game is still really glitchy. Despite the patch, they've not really fixed nothing with the backswing. I do feel most of the things they've fixed is everything bar the gameplay. I think that's the hybrid. Oh, we need a nice kick. Ah, just a bit firm. But once again, you've seen it when the ball was in the air, it was really glitchy again. So 14 foot. This is breaking left and then right. Hopefully I can read that. This looks like it's just straight. If I play this one enough weight, I'm confident that the straight line is the line. Yeah, convinced it is. Be nice, get in, get in, get in. Oh yes, and this one drops. So that takes us back to to one under, three under for the day, one under for the event. So we're on the 14th already. Once again, it's another tricky par three, this. The way the pin's placed, that bunker's in play, especially with the wind. Sloping to the left. Oh, I put a slow on that. I put a slow on that. I'm in the bunker, am I? Oh, no. The slow just killed the... Killed the yardage. And I, if ever I need a good bunker shot, now. Oh my god, I've done it again, guys, with the flop shot. Ah, oh, no, oh, no, I would spin back. So this is for a bogey. This is for another bogey. We had the double bogey. It killed us. And that's a great part there. So, back to level par. I just can't seem uh, to get under par at all. The game does not want me to get under par for the event. Just these flop shots, especially in the bunkers, are so, so difficult. I mean, I'm not changing my rhythm at all on my swing for the flop shot, so I don't know why it's going very fast. I'm just keep trying to keep the... It's just muscle memory now, fun memory. 
that I'm swinging that temple all the time now. So it's disappointing. The two drop shots we had have been from flop shots. I do feel we can chase this up there, guys. Hopefully we can leave ourselves a putt for Eagle. I've put a fast on that. That's going to be bunkered. Oh, we hit the top of the bunker and we bounce out. Whether that's going to do us any favours or not, I'm not sure. Let's see if we can get a pitch. And a flop. Let's flop it. I've lost all confidence in the flop shots, but I'm going to do it. Take a bit of loft off of it. Make sure you're trying it the yardage here. Don't spin back. It's going to leave us a long putt for birdie. Well, longer than what I had hoped. Eight foot, breaking right. Nah. Ah, I, I just, I can't, I cannot read these greens accurately, guys. I mean, just look at the severity. So it's disappointing to get a par there on the par five, but it was our, our second shot hitting the, the rough. Made it more challenging. That's a great drive. Hopefully, we can get this approach shot close. Okay, about 140 yards to go. Wind is against us, so I do feel the eight irons a club. Stay up. Stay up. I think this might be a bit long. Oh, it's long and left. I don't feel I pushed that left there. The wind must have just taken me a lot stronger than what I anticipated. So it's going to be a long, long birdie putt, guys. Just hoping to get this close. It's a good weight we've put on it. Very happy with that. Very, very happy with that. So that's going to be a part. So let's go into the 17th par 5. And hopefully we can get a birdie here, guys, to get us under par. I'm saying that we can make the cut. If I shoot over par here... It's going to be very hard for me to justify making the cut. And that's a very good swing. Very, very good swing. The second shot here is vital. Second shot's critical here now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit the green, actually. Well, no, we, we can, actually. We can. I'm confident I can hit the green here, distance-wise. Go on, chase on, chase on, chase on. Go on, give me an eagle putt, chase on. Oh, this could be nice. Oh, turn left, turn left. Delighted with that, guys. It's given me an opportunity of eagle. At the worst here, we should come out with birdie. I'm just going to sit closer to TV for this one. 15 feet, 4 inches down. This is one of the easier putts we've actually had for the day. It's not severe at all. Turn. Turn. Yes. And that is an eagle. And that gets us back to two under for the event. Four under for the round. 
delighted, guys. So let's see if we can finish off another birdie here. I would take a par right now, but a birdie would be nicer. To put us three under for the event and five under for the day. Once again, it's a good drive. I've been excellent off the tee box today, guys. It's half the battle. So we've left ourselves 170 yards. One nine mile per hour to the right. Let's loft up the six iron. Hopefully we can get this close to the pin and give ourselves a chance of a birdie, but like I say, I'll take a par. Great swing. Oh, wow, this could be beautiful. This could be beautiful. Bite, bite. Oh, damn, it's just... It didn't stop as quick as I hoped. It's probably going to be an 8-foot putt for birdie. 11-foot putt for birdie. And why once it... This is not a difficult putt here, guys. I do feel if I just play this to the right of the cup, this drops if I can get the right weight. Turn, turn, turn. Yes! Wow. So, guys, I'm absolutely delighted with that. That's it for round two. I hope you've really enjoyed that. I'm really looking forward to round three tomorrow. I'll see you all then. Take care. Peace out. Bye.